Okay guys, so first thing we want to do when we're uh, removing the paint mar, the most important thing is a clean, unused microfiber towel. There's no debris on it. Uh, the debris, these towels will pick up metal shavings, rock shavings, it'll pick up just about anything. So you want to be absolutely certain that there's no debris on your rag. So this one's brand new out of the bag. Uh, the next thing we want to use is a professional grade uh, perfected from 3M or a similar product that's got a slight cleaning agent in it as well as a, a light rubbing compound and the way that I do it is I let let the compound do the work for you uh, you don't want to you don't want to drive the rag into the panel so that it scratches the clear coat just let the uh, let the uh, the chemicals that's in the compound do all the work for you so here's the paint mark here Applying like a light pressure and it's already disappearing so there's just one little bitty dot left in it and you can see it's just a slight coloration on the on the rag there I'm gonna come at it from another angle get some more compound in there now I'm pushing a little bit harder than I did before but I know I'm watching as I go uh, it's not doing any damage to the paint it's not scratching uh, most of it's out I'm gonna add a little bit more and let the compound do just a little bit more work I'm going a little bit faster uh, to create a little bit of heat. A lot of this, a lot of these professional grade compounds, and it's gone. A lot of these professional grade compounds uh, rely on heat to uh, to do the cleaning for them. So make sure I've got a nice, clean, dry area on my towel. And there's the dent. And that's how you take out a little bit of paint mark. Okay guys, um, I'm set up here with this uh, another area of the panel that's got some, some paint marring um, and I believe that this will buff out with a little bit of the same type of compound that I used before. Uh, again, it's, it's 3M uh, perfected. You can buy this from any uh, paint supply house, Jobber, uh, probably Amazon too. But what I'm going to use today is my trusty buffer. Uh, it's a cordless drill and a buffing pad. It's a foam pad comes off it comes it's like a five-piece kit uh, also comes from Amazon about 25 bucks uh, this is I would not categorize this as a DIY uh, this is an illustrative video as to how I do it um, if you're gonna try something like this uh, do it at your own risk so I get a good amount of, of compound on my buffing wheel make sure your buffing wheel is clean no debris on it just like the rag that doesn't have any metal shavings or rocks or anything just go on here and just let the let the compound do the work, adding a little bit of heat. And there you have it. Double check your racks clean. remains right there. I don't even know if the camera will pick it up or not. So we're going to add a little bit more and we're going to get it really good and hot. Now in, in that second pass, I, I took the, uh, instead of laying it flat, I tilted it a little bit on the edge and that adds a, a, a lot more heat uh, to the panel to really let that 3M perfected uh, polish do its job. There we go, it's gone. 